A tree has lots of roots. If a tree falls down, all its roots come out. And it leaves a very big hole. There are 1.6 million children under the age of 18 who are adopted in the U.S. I always knew that I was adopted, but throughout my childhood I always walked around with unresolved grief, not knowing what it was. But I was always bothered, and it was always uh, in my, uh, you no know, unconscious, but I always felt it so close. People think it's over when you're a child. They think of adoptees as children, but we grow up. I went into reunion thinking I was going to find my biological family to tell them that I was okay. What I found out was I, that it's not what I needed to do. I needed to find my biological family because I needed them. I think if you're a baby, you don't really know what's going on and you're very scared and you're like, where is my mommy? Where's my real mommy? 60% of people in America have a connection to adoption. I didn't realize how tiring it was. And I remember exactly when I became aware of it. And it was when her birth mother turned to me and said, how are you doing? Nobody had ever asked. I never even stopped to think about it. And I was really taken off guard. I just believe that children can really handle the truth no matter what, it's so much better than the not knowing. Everyone has a family tree. With your family name, you can trace your ancestors back for centuries. Imagine if you didn't know your name. You know, to me, I guess at that time, adoption was just somebody else raised a kid. And the funny thing is, is somewhere deep down, I had a feeling she was adopted. Because I remember I went to her house and uh, I, she had, she was dyeing her hair at the time and her mom had blonde hair. So I said, okay, it looks similar. But then I saw a picture of her brother hanging on the wall and I realized there was no, like, absolutely no resemblance. I was adopted by a really short Portuguese woman and I'm six foot five and I have green eyes and so we never matched. I don't regret ever finding out my story. I don't regret it because no matter how challenging it's been, it has given me a sense of myself that I've never had before.